Okay, so Jackie and I are off to Whole Foods, and we're gonna show you our Whole Foods haul for the week. Get ready, you guys. Super excited to get a snippet of the foods, our most favorite foods. I'm excited. Epic fail for me, I forgot my bags at the house. Epic fail. Epic fail. <laughs> what kind of vegan am I? <laughs> I love my bags at home. Sustainable vegan, are you? I know, right? I'm gonna be all guilty going, can I get paper bags? I'm that person today, thank you. This is my favorite Whole Foods. You guys, Whole Foods originated in Austin, Texas in the 1980s. All right, let's go be wasteful. <laughs> Y'all, this is where I get all my flowers. You guys see my house? Oh my God. Wow. What's on the list? <laughs> Alright. We have berries. So you get like guac, pico. You guys, we do have a list actually. And yes. that's one of the things. One of the things Always I have a list. And also, don't go to the grocery store hungry because when you go to the grocery store hungry, forget about it. You end up getting all kinds of I crazy. want it all. <laughs> it did my belly. <laughs> Alright. This avocado. Like a, you don't want them to be too soft. Like, there are some really, really soft ones here. How many do you want? We just need two. Oh, bell peppers. What are your favorite? Which bell peppers? Orange. Mm. Okay, so orange and yellow for our fajitas? Yes, that's perfect. So we get two of each. Yes, because we can never have too many bell peppers. We are obsessed with any kind of potatoes and purple onions, the bomb.com. What kind of onions do you guys like? It's a woman on our mission. Mm. I like what? these little things. I know, they're super I cute. I forgot my produce bag. <laughs> Ooh. Portobello mushrooms. Look how ginormous they are. It's huge. It's like the size of your face. Put that one up by your face. <laughs> Get down, Jackie. Get down. Have you ever got down in your produce section like this? <laughs> Shake your moringas. <laughs> to our Whole Food haul. You guys, we just got back from Whole Foods. So we have a list of everything that we're gonna be eating this week while I'm here in Austin with Marcia. And we had everything written down. We stuck with our list. We took our list to the grocery store. It's actually in one of these bags over here. Somewhere. Somewhere. But we stuck with it, you guys. And this is exactly what we encourage you to do every week. Always make lists so you don't get more. We actually forgot something on our list, but we'll go back tomorrow and go get it. it Unfortunately, uh, my <laughs> dingbat butt forgot to bring my reusable bag. So as you can see, we are using the whole food bags today. So you guys, it is what it is. It's always progress, not perfection. But I was like, dang, I did not bring my bags. <laughs> but you know what it happens sometimes when you unload your groceries and you I put them in a cabinet and then I go grocery shop and then I completely forget so I got to bring these down and for on your defense too you do walk to Whole Foods quite a bit I so do that's why they're there and they weren't in your car so you know what thank goodness grocery stores do have plastic I mean paper bags not plastic bags we love Whole Foods. Yeah, so I mean, we got more than usual today and I would have not walked back with five bags of groceries. Thankfully we had Jackie, so she helped me haul some of this. But <laughs> we're gonna break it down what we spent. So we spent $170, I'll show you the receipt. So as you can see, we spent $170 at Whole Foods. A lot of people like to joke around and say, whole paycheck, I get it. I live in Austin, which is the mecca of Whole Foods. Whole Foods was created here back in the 1980s and they're like on every corner like Starbucks. So I do shop at Whole Foods, and I know you guys are probably make fun of me, but I don't care. So <laughs> I, I'm a Whole Food whore, guys. We are <laughs> both of us. We love our Whole Foods. I love it, and we have a couple in Miami too, which 
I love, love, love. They just have the best produce section. I don't know about you guys. I mean, of course, the farmer market, they do too, but this is really close to my house where I can walk to, and this has the best produce. I've been to Sprouts, Trader Joe's, Randall's, H-E-B, and I feel like the produce does not match it at all. It just does, it doesn't look good. It's almost rotten when you get it. So I am a whole food whore. I'm sorry. Shame me. No, I'll you take know it. what's interesting? So I just was able to do this thing with Hodo. So Hodo Foods was in town for some veg fest in Florida, and they they're based out of San Francisco. But I was asking, like, where do you go grocery shopping? Guess where they go grocery shopping? I don't know. Farmers markets. That's like their big thing. is farmers markets. We have some farmers markets in Miami, but literally, I'm at Whole Foods You're all Whole the time. Foods. We just they're like. Sporadic. They're not like consistently. Well, no, they, we do have some on Saturdays, but no, Whole Foods is my jam. <laughs> yeah, I just moved to Austin like seven or eight months ago, so I need to find the farmers markets here. I have not been yet, so if you know of any, you can put it down in the comments below. If you live in Austin, I would love to check them out, or maybe we could do a vegan meetup if you guys, any of you all live in Austin. So we're all about the vegan meetups. That would be fun so for sure. Okay, so let's break it down. Let's show you what we got. But um, we wrote down everything that we needed. We did forget the one thing for Wednesday night dinner, so we'll go back to Whole Foods and we'll get it. It's not that big a deal. No. But we literally stuck with our list and that was a lifesaver. Yes. So we, I want to start off first by saying, you know, we're not 100% perfect. It's always progress, not perfection. So when I show you in the haul, like some of you guys are like, oh my God, they're using single use plastic. That is okay. Sometimes it's convenience over our time of cooking something. And we try always to be perfect, but we're not. No, <laughs> but we're not. Yeah, no, ever. We, ever. <laughs> no, no, we, try, we just try our best every single day, but we just like to keep it real. Sometimes I even forget as a human, sometimes things are in single use plastic. I like, can't wait like this to cheese. try that cheese, this, by the way. Oh my God, it's Credo cheese. It's, <laughs> this is more of the uh, junk food vegan stuff, but we got everywhere from whole food plant-based is the majority of our nutrition to some fun foods, which is junk food vegan. So let's start off first by, we are going to make Mexican casserole tonight. And my husband loves Mexican casserole. And I like these sweet potatoes that are already packaged because I actually put my jackfruit enchilada sauce. I just mash it all together and it makes this yummy binder. So mm. it's super delicious. I don't know if we should have this tonight or tomorrow because there's two nights that we got. Let's do. What do you want? This tonight? Yeah, tonight. That sounds really good now that you're describing it. It is so good. <laughs> but the enchilada sauce that I use is this organic hatch enchilada sauce. So wait, before you go on about this, Hatch, you guys, I went to college at University of New Mexico, and Hatch is actually in New Mexico, and these Hatch green chilies, any of their chilies are the best. So if you ever are at the grocery store and you're looking for a brand and you see Hatch, you have to just stop what you're doing and get those Hatch green chilies because, or any of the Hatch products. Any, yes, products. products. Hatch is the bomb. So I like this one because obviously it's organic, so I try to go organic as I can. I'm not making my own enchilada sauce, you guys. That's really, that's a so little. why, Marcia? I know, right? <laughs> it's like, when you I know on. people be criticizing because I'm not making my own and I'm half Hispanic, but sorry, peeps. You know what I mean? So I'm buying it from a container and it's it's a, uh, what do you call it? A can. No. So anyways, it's really good. Hatch is my favorite. Like she said, it's delicious. I actually put this with the sweet potato, jackfruit, and black beans and make this dip stuff to put in my Mexican casserole. So it's really, really good. I'm trying to find the black beans. To black beans, that. here we go. Right there. We have black beans right here. And then of course I use this jackfruit, jackfruit in the brine. And this makes, it's like kind of like shredded chicken in a way, but of course you know it's not chicken, it's jackfruit, but it tastes super delicious and it has a chicken-like texture, which is so good. But you guys, I put- And it's one. even, her husband likes it. So it's keep approved. Yes. And whenever our husbands like something that's plant-based or vegan, we have to shout that out because they don't, they're, 
they're like tough people to yeah, please, they're right? critics, tough critics. <laughs> critics, thank you. Yes, anything we make, if they don't like it, they're like, I hate this, like don't make it ever again. So <laughs> they're pretty honest, but if they like it and request it, then we know it's a winner in our household, so we make it again. Absolutely. So Mexican quinoa is made once a week in my household because my husband loves it. Uh, and, and now we seem to have the ingredients on hand. Like I feel like living in Texas, we have Tex-Mex ingredients on hand 24 seven, so it's all good. So I got corn, I didn't go out and make my corn, so I didn't. <laughs> I'm not shucking it from the field. I'm not trees. shucking it. <laughs> I'm shucking it from the field, sorry guys. So I actually got this in obviously in plastic container, but I like this corn, this is the sweet corn. Is this the one? Yeah, the white sweet corn is my favorite. So I have this corn, this is what I put in with the black beans, it was delicious. Um, pico, I can make it from scratch, or I could be like, I call it lazy, so Lazy Marcia has just bought it from Whole Foods already pre-made. They do have the best pico, I have to say it's delicious. And their salsa is super delicious too. It's already done, and I say it too, their guacamole is good. So it's all done, and that way I can be fast and efficient and boom. Sometimes if I have the time to spend an hour cooking, I like to make all my stuff from scratch. But for times that I don't, we're gonna be real here. I don't have that time sometimes. Jackie and I work long hours, we get obviously filming, editing, coaching calls, we're on the go. Sometimes we don't have time. And you know, people, I, I never forget, somebody had saw this on Instagram and saw me, she was like, oh my God, thank God you use single use plastic. Like I never thought you used that. And I was like, no, it happens. It happens. It's like, I'm not immune to it too, it happens. You know, like this is in plastic containers, like Credo cheese. It's like I can't go there with the mason jar and say, hey, can you put this in here? Like it's not gonna <laughs> happen. This is how they sell at Whole Foods. So, but you can reuse these containers for other stuff, just FYI. So just know that. Okay, so that's gonna be Mexican quinoa tonight. Tell them what we're gonna make for tomorrow. I don't know what we're making tomorrow. Um, the mushrooms with asparagus. <gasps> yes, so we are doing mushrooms and these, look at these portobello mushrooms, you guys. They're so amazing. And I love the little bag that they <laughs> come in too. You like pick and choose. You decide which mushrooms you want out of the bin. And we're gonna cut up some russet potatoes. Use any kind of potatoes you want. Guess what? Potatoes are good. Any of them are good. As long as you don't fry them and you eat the skin. We just rinse them off really good, dice them up or bake them, whatever you want to do. I think we're dicing them up tomorrow. Yep. We cut up an onion. And garlic. Else? Garlic, you guys. Can I just dive into <laughs> this tub of garlic? Let's see. I, we want you to comment and let us know. Do you think we'll go through all of this garlic this week that we're together, that we're filming all these different recipes, or do you think it'll take Marcia like another week to go through them? Thankfully, <laughs> we'll both be eating it so we can't tell who has garlic breath. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Even my husband would be like, what? Like, exactly, and thank God he's leaving so he doesn't have to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're also gonna have some asparagus tonight, which is, or tomorrow, tomorrow night, yeah. which is going to be so yummy. Yeah, so good. basically it's gonna be asparagus, potatoes, mushrooms. I got some mushrooms. Um, oh, yeah, yes. onions, garlic. We also have Trader Joe's. Hold on real quick. This is not part of the haul. You guys, but these. But I will show you these. They're wild mushrooms from Trader Joe's and you just saute them in a pan. Super delicious. They're done in like two or three minutes. Super, super fast and they are so good. I always have bags of those in my freezer, sorry. Oh my God, it's so good, you have no idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got some oatmeal. This always goes in our household. My husband has oatmeal every morning for breakfast and sometimes he has it for dinner because we do savory oatmeal. So he does have breakfast and dinner. Um, I don't do too many oats like I used to. Uh, I might do it a couple days a week, but I like to mix up my breakfast from you know overnight oats to smoothies to maybe a, a black bean sweet potato hash. So I just kind of mix stuff around. It's not always oats, so. That's right, and we also have stuff to make a smoothie in the morning. Marcia is like aronia like, berry. Oh, <gasps> you guys! I think this is going to be one of the highlights of my trip is finally tasting these aronia berries that are like the highest in antioxidants. I can't find them at my Whole Foods in Miami, so we're finally going to have them here. But we're going to oh be gosh. using baby kale. Why are all these berries gone? I, I don't, don't have that. them. We Sorry, might Jackie. <laughs> we might have to go back. When we go back and get the corn tortillas, we'll, we'll have to see if they have them because they were out today. We actually looked. We'll have to, yeah, but 
In the meanwhile, I have these wild blueberries. They say wild blueberries are better than regular blueberries. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the science is on that, but somebody told me that, and I was like, Yeah, I've read it too. And who knows? Who knows? But again, enjoy them. Antioxidants are good for anti-aging. So if you're over 40, pile up on these suckers. <laughs> pile up, pile up, and we'll have bananas in there. We literally you throw in whatever food you like. And if you want it to be a little bit more filling, I'm just gonna say throw in a little bit of oatmeal. Sweet potatoes, you throw in sweet potatoes. <laughs> oh my God, we're on the same page. No, it's so crazy. So if you do throw in sweet potatoes, make sure they're cooked and then you throw them in after and you blend everything up, add a little water. I don't like to use like an oat milk or a coconut milk or any kind of nut milk yeah. in my smoothie just because I'm getting enough calories in Your food. the fruits, the veggies will have a fat to make it creamier. We can use an avocado in there or we can do like hemp seed, chia seed, whatever. We'll, we, like, we like to mix it up. Um, Keith uses this for his coffee, right? No, milk? no. Well, I actually use this for my oat, um, overnight oats. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, mm. Keith does a black, black coffee. Oh, just oh, like yeah. Charles. That's what I black used to have when I was able to have coffee. I'm like, <laughs> no. I actually did not used to like oat milk, but I'm starting to like it now. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to dig into these real quick because I'm actually thirsty, so. <laughs> right? So this is kombucha, and this was a limited edition, and it tastes like blue raspberry. They're so good. So instead of getting Gatorade, this is what you should be drinking instead of Gatorade. And let me tell you, this bottle is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so, good. so pretty. So Let's good. see here. Salud. Salud. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't know, kombucha's fermented tea. And they come in different flavors. Wow, this Isn't is this good? good. Super, super good. It has like a little spice to it. And it's called Sacred Life. This is good for your gut microbiome, too. This I don't know if this oh is true gosh. or not, but they said, hey, remember, in ancient times, emperors gave kombucha to the warriors to help prepare for battle. <laughs> all right, we're going to battle tackling all these videos. I know, right? <laughs> But you guys, it tastes so good, but this is like a fun little fancy bottle. And this is right here, this is GT's limited edition 25 anniversary, 25 years of GT kombucha. I actually might add, I might be drinking water out of this during the week too. This bottle is really pretty, seriously. Remember, you guys can reuse these. So anything that you buy, this is glass. You can reuse this. All right, one thing we did, right? Glass. <laughs> totally kidding. I'm like, oh my God, no. We have peppers. What are, what are the peppers for? What are we making with the peppers? So Wednesday night, we have our neighbors coming over. And you guys know me. I love hosting parties. And it's all, obviously, plant-based parties. So I, the first time I had my neighbors over, I made Mexican quinoa. One of my neighbors was not a fan. I could tell she was like, this is so gross. <laughs> so this time, Jack is going to meet my neighbors. And we are going to have taco night. And I'm gonna make a walnut lentil tacos for crunchy tacos. And then I'm gonna make some fajitas, some portobello mushroom fajitas with onions and bell peppers and stuff. So we'll have a choice. We'll have chips and dip. That's why we have the queso, the guacamole and salsa. And then also we're gonna have either hard crunchy tacos or fajitas or both, you know, that way people have choices. Right, it's gonna be good. Yeah. And we were going to get some vegan cheese, but we decided not to do that because literally, if you're not vegan and you love dairy, which was me for many years, a really good substitute for cheese is avocado. Avocado is so creamy and delicious. And let me tell you, I've got to give a shout out to my sister. She was actually doing Weight Watchers or something for a while. And instead of cheese, she would use slices of avocado on her sandwiches or whatever. Nice. Instead of cheese. Yeah. And it was good and creamy and delicious. And that's what got me off cheese initially. Right. Avocados to the rescue. So there's nothing nutritious or delicious about, well, maybe delicious by cheese, but nothing nutritious. It really is an inflammatory type of food. I quit it longer than I'd quit meat. So 15 years ago, I quit dairy because I had cystic acne. And I was having low fat yogurt, low fat string cheese. Um, you know, I was eating dairy like between yogurt, string cheese, and something else. I can't remember. And anyways, it was giving me flared, oh, and kefir. I remember kefir, I was drinking kefir. But it gave me cystic acne. So this is 15 years ago, guys. The dermatologist told me to get off of dairy. This is before I didn't know what vegan was. I had no clue plant-based was, nothing. So I got off dairy before I got off any kind of meat, so. And that's one thing, I just wanna reiterate what you said. If you are suffering from acne, your child is suffering from acne, someone you know has acne, if they're having dairy, 
really get them to stop eating dairy because dairy, like so many people's skin has- To this day. Up. You yes. know, I mean, I was in my thirties, guys, having acne. 30s, like I'm 45 right now, this is 15 years ago. So just FYI, you could be any age having cystic acne and it is curable, it's depending what you eat. And also too, another thing to notice, do not eat too much high fat. If you eat too many high fat foods, if I have too many avocados, too many nuts, my face breaks out. I get really oily. So I have to really watch my healthy fat portions or I can break out again. So it's eating the wrong foods or eating too much of the right stuff. So. But part of the going back to our uh, Mexican uh, night, we're gonna have taco night, Siete brand has this yummy, delicious, um, what do you call it, the mix, the, the taco seasoning that you put on there. I decided to try because I'm making walnut lentil taco seasoning, walnut lentil taco seasoning with this. Oh my God, it was so good. I and can't you, wait to taste it's it. It's so delicious. You, you'll be like, crunching through those tacos, it's so damn good. <laughs> but yeah, so they came out with this, and it's really whole food ingredients. A lot of times they have maltodextrin or any kind of bunch of sugars and just junk in there or MSG. This, you guys, this is a clean brand. So anything from Siete, we got the chips for that night, we got the chips we can have with dip. That's gonna be a yummy, yummy. One. That is gonna be yummy. And Marcia really wanted to do a parfait. So the very first time I had this yogurt, GT's yogurt, was it Seed in Miami oh, that's right. at the brunch that they had. So it's really good and we're gonna be making a parfait. So stay tuned for our videos for that, you guys. It's gonna be really and good. And it's healthy probiotics. These are in glass containers, so I can reuse these containers too. I so love those containers. Yes, and I we got fun, too. fun drinks. Waterloo's our favorite water because it really tastes like water. You know when you get the sparkling water, it's like, it tastes like strawberry and there's not even a hint of strawberry. You're like, no, I don't taste it. These really taste. They actually take the oils from the fruit and they infuse it. It's There's, so good. It's a whole process, but it's so super delicious. If you haven't heard of Waterloo, go Shut get your name Amazon. We'll put a link here on, on below and give you the link to it because you can get these suckers off Amazon straight to your door. So. Boom. That's right. That's right. Okay. So next, um, we're going to make, um, what else was there? We have our Mexican, no, I'm Mexican, or the cilantro, avocado cilantro dressing. We're going to make a cilantro avocado dressing for your salads. So and you can make a salad with greens and bell peppers, tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, carrots, just a ton of veggies, but you need an oil-free dressing. Instead of using oil, I like to use avocado, and I have this mm. yummy, creamy dressing to make with avocado, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that recipe. The tribe loves that. It's in you one of our programs, and literally everyone that makes it, they fall in love with it. Best salad dressing ever. And then we're gonna make avocado, I mean, not avocado, but um, overnight oats. We're gonna make overnight oats, this really thick, mm. like it has like a chia pudding texture, because there's different ways to make overnight oats, and I started getting sick of it, like when you wake up the next morning, it's not, it's still watery, you know? And so somewhere I have a little secret tip for you guys. So you have to wait for that video because it is super delicious. I tried it for the first time. Jackie's the first one to experiment with this. So good. And it was super delicious. Better than what I thought it was good. It looks gross, but it's so dang good. <laughs> it's really, really delicious. So, but anyways, this is our whole food haul. Oh, I, did, I wanted to mention this too, because we did get some vegan junk food. So obviously um, some of our vegan junk food is kombucha because it does have sh sugar in it. We got these Animal. waters, these Aqua Keeper waters, um, but they have like probiotics in it. Um, I would say these things are vegan junk food as well. These are whole foods that are nourishing you. My husband loves these little gardening cutlets. This is definitely vegan junk food. It's not something you would eat all the time, but sometimes he does miss the texture of chicken. And if you guys don't know, my husband's vegetarian. He hasn't had um, any kind of meat in almost two years. Uh, this May will be two years. I know it's kind of crazy to think about this, but, no, but every now and then he's like, I'm sick of beans. <laughs> so got to give the man what he wants. So he likes this Gardein. He heard it on Howard Stern and he's like, oh my God, Howard Stern has Gardein. I'm like, dude, he's been <laughs> sponsored by Gardein, but okay. <laughs> Gardein is so, good. I actually good. like the way they taste, but when Keith has the Gardein, Marcy and I will have beans. We'll have beans. I will have beans and mushrooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In place of Gardein. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, that's right. Because he doesn't like mushrooms. He doesn't like mushrooms. How can you not like mushrooms? He's very picky. My he's sister hard, doesn't like mushrooms either. He's a hard critic. But so <laughs> sometimes I'll make stuff and forget. And he'll like, hey. And he's like, ew, what is this? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot you don't like mushrooms or something. So, but yeah. But I mean, we got a, a ton of everything. I would say three quarters of this is whole food plant based. 
and then the rest of just kind of like vegan junk food or treats that you know we're just kind of having fun like this is a once in a lifetime thing to try it's not like i would drink these every day this is not what i'm saying the same thing as this jackie's in town so we we're having some fun drinks that's right yeah we don't drink so we're having these are our drinks when people ask because a lot of things are centered around you know when you're around events it can be centered around alcohol or people that drink and people are like, even like my neighbors, you know, they're like, should we bring anything like wine or whatever? I'm like, you can bring it for yourself. It's just, I'm not gonna personally partake in it. So, which I never say that to them. I'm just like, yeah, go ahead, bring whatever you want, wine. Because every time they bring it, they're assuming I'm drinking with them, but I'm really not. <laughs> sorry. I'm like, sorry, I'm not. Sorry, no. not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not so sorry. I feel like it has to be a really special occasion for me actually to drink. You know, Jackie doesn't drink at all. But for me, it has to be something like a, maybe a birthday or a special occasion because now at 45, it's almost not even worth it to drink. So if you're 45, you guys can, or over, you know what I mean? <laughs> you just don't feel good. I mean, it's not one of those things that you wake up the next day, even one drink or two drink, it's really puts you in a telescope like you drank the whole entire night. So right. yeah, if I go to bed beyond like 10 o'clock, I mean, because <laughs> later than 10, I'm it. like, oh my God, I had two drinks. All right, so you guys start putting everything away. There are links down below with everything that we got. And you guys, if you like this video, make sure you like, you subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it with your friends. There you go. <laughs> she said it best. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next